In this video, we're diving deep into the world of Tamriel to uncover the 10 essential Skyrim mods that you absolutely can't afford to miss. Whether you're a seasoned Dragonborn or just stepping into the realm of Skyrim, these mods will elevate your experience to new heights. So grab your gear, sharpen your swords, and let's embark on this modding journey together. First and foremost, Let's take a look at the recent mods added to TestNexus, starting with SKSE plugins. First of all, you should pay attention to the Container Item Distributor mod. The Container Item Distributor mod allows you to add, remove, or replace items and leveled lists in containers in real time as defined in the CIDI e file. This mod operates similarly to other distributors like SPID. The advantage of this mod is that it reduces the need for patchwork on containers and handles, conflict checking and distribution automatically, eliminating the need for mod authors to create numerous patches. So, through this plugin, you can expect an innovation where you'll discover various mode items in containers in the future. Next, there's a noteworthy plugin called Stop Automatic Weep and Draw Engine. This plugin prevents automatic weapon, fist, or magic drawing when pressing mouse buttons or gamepad trigger buttons. With this plugin installed, you can only draw or sheath your weapons using the ready unready button. This can help prevent accidentally drawing weapons every time you access the menu, alt plus tab out of the game while modding, or return to the game. It's also recommended for players who want to assign trigger keys for various interactions during non-combat situations. Personally, I believe that drawing weapons in the game should be something you do only when you genuinely intend to. Next, let's take a look at the visual and creature-related mods that have recently caught attention on Tesnexus. First and foremost, we have Separated Slash Effects X. Separated Slash Effects X is a mod that uses the Mew Impact Framework to add intense slashing effects to both melee and ranged attacks for players. This mod is designed for players who prefer stylish action that doesn't necessarily adhere to lore. It supports FOMOD, offering various installation options, distinguishes between regular and critical attacks, and even adds sound effects. Next up is Shadow SE. Shadow SE is a lighting mod of sorts that projects window and tree shadows onto the ground. It also adds some unique items to inns and taverns to create a distinctive atmosphere. While this mod affects the interiors of almost all rooms and some dungeons, most dungeons remain in their vanilla state, making it highly compatible with dark dungeon mods. Additionally, it includes bug fixes and separate weather tweaks related to shadows, making it a great choice for players looking to change lighting, particularly concerning shadows. Moving on to Body Changer, a multi-body system. Body Changer, a multi-body system, allows you to select and change various body types within the game. You can customize and alter your physique as you desire, whether it's muscular, slim, or curvy. It offers the convenience of real-time body changes within the game. If you want the flexibility to change your body in various ways on the fly, this mod is worth trying out. Lastly, let's talk about Trolls of Cyrodiil. Trolls of Cyrodiil adds trolls living in Cyrodiil, altering their appearance and behavior. These trolls are smaller, less menacing, and covered in thicker fur compared to their northern counterparts. However, their personality remains the same. Foul-smelling, parasitic fur, food scraps, dust, and even moss tangled in their fur. This mod is lore-friendly and balanced, making it a recommended choice for players who enjoyed previous Elder Scrolls titles like Oblivion. Next, Let's introduce the environment-related mod that has been gaining attention on Tesnexus recently. Skyrim is Cold. Skyrim is Cold is a mod that brings a realistic sense of weather and temperature to Skyrim. 
This mod alters the attire of NPCs based on Skyrim's weather conditions. For instance, NPCs in chilly regions like Windhelm, Morthal, and Dawnstar will wear thick fur or cloaks to keep warm. It's compatible with Frostfall, and it interacts with Frostfall's cold and hypothermia effects. It also seamlessly integrates with various clothing mods and is compatible with wet and cold. This mod enhances the ambiance and immersion of Skyrim, making it highly recommended for players who enjoy survival and exploration gameplay, as it adds depth to the experience. Next, let's take a look at animation-related mods that have recently caught attention on Tess Nexus. First up, we have J Serpa's skill-based dynamic animations. J Serpa's skill-based dynamic animations is a mod that dynamically changes the animations of both the player character and NPCs based on their skill levels or race. Currently, it covers sneaking, archery, and magic casting. For example, if the sneak skill is between 1 and 50, it uses vanilla animations. But if the skill is between 50 and 75, it switches to the more sneaky animations. And if it's above 75, it employs the Ultimate Sneaking Animations mod. Similarly, if the character's mana is less than 250, it uses vanilla magic animations, which appear less refined for less experienced characters. If the mana is 250 or more, it uses the installed magic animations. Additionally, if the archery skill is above 50, it uses the installed archery animations. This mod is perfect for players who seek motion changes based on skill levels. Next, let's explore the Improved Idle Laydown Animations mod. The Improved Idle Laydown Animations is an animation created by Sonderbane that enhances the way characters lie down. Notably, it is frequently used by NPCs lying down in hot springs located southeast of Windhelm. Players who appreciate Sonderbane's creations will likely enjoy this animation as well. With the Dovahkiin Can Lean mod, players can also use this animation in specific locations. Now let's delve into the Melodic Kitten Romper outfit. This unique addition brings a charming and distinctive cat-themed attire to the world of Skyrim. The outfit exudes an overall cuteness and features a form-fitting design that accentuates the character's physique in an appealing manner. One of the standout features of this outfit is the adorable beanie it includes. This beanie not only adds a touch of whimsy, but also beautifully captures the essence of a feline's charm. What makes it truly impressive is the attention to detail, with cat ear embellishments that give it a unique and memorable character. If you like the outfit you see in the video, give it a try for yourself. And there you have it, fellow travelers the top 10 Skyrim mods you definitely shouldn't miss. We hope you found this video informative and inspiring. If you enjoyed our modding adventure, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow adventurers. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more epic Skyrim content coming your way. Thank you for joining us on this modding quest. Until next time, may your shouts be powerful and your adventures in Skyrim be legendary.